Hello, Leo. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Happy Halloween with your October 2022 mini tarot reading. We're going to take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. I have put on my beautiful Priya Knight necklace. I'm just letting you know because of wherever I wear it, people always want to know what the stone is and what a perfect time to wear something like that is on Halloween. Uh -huh. So, please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign as sometimes they uh, do better than... Uh, just your sun sign and also if you'd like a reading just about you I've included my website down below which is www.soulstarbliss.com or you can also book me by readings by Judy and that's also down there and that's J-U-D-I-E so let's see what's coming up for you Leo wow preparedness in reverse something big something has you know happened either in September that's going to carry over to October. It's big. I don't know what it is. Is that for everybody? I don't know, but it's good, whatever it is. Seems like the days of loneliness are over for a lot of you. I don't know what that means either, but it says because of an offer or a, because of an offer, lonely days are gone. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but claim it for yourself. I almost feel like it's a partnership, whether it be marriage or business, but it's really, it's big and it's good. Got a lot of commotion going on around you this month, and it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Step back and take care of what you want. This could be a month where you say, okay, this is for me. This is what I want. This is what I'm doing. Those in the marriage area, wow, or partnership, love. I feel like this is a big celebration here. This is a good thing. It feels like there's peace between uh, partners, or if it's a new partnership, it's going to be really well. And I feel like don't let... Uh, ghosts from the past ruin this process. I don't know who that's for, but it just says don't let the ghosts from the past. The, how things were in the past doesn't mean how this is going to be for now. I hope I said that right, or whoever that's for, I hope that helps you. Um, <clears throat> wow, it seems like a lot of study or work or plan about money, whether you're making, um, uh, let's see, how do I want to say, if you're making a plan uh, a budget, stick to it. It's going to be good. You're, it's like two people working together on something that's going to help everybody. There is going to be gating in the midst of change, things going up and down, up and down. And I feel that could be in the love area. It's like, this is what I want. No, that's not what I want. Uh, how is this working? Talk, talk, talk. Talk is going to help this. Okay, make sure you can discuss things. Um, choices that you make now are going to really be good for you. It's, it's like you're making a choice about money. So I don't know if you're putting a business plan together or a personal plan, a budget. It just seems like it's going to make things so much easier for everybody. And that's a good thing. So you'll have a steady income of money coming. Oh, well, that's always good. It says that feeling of being alone is almost like, almost like it left you. You have somebody there with you that you realize is really there. Um, that you're not alone, that you do have help. And then back to money, it just says you have some money coming somewhere, but it's not, it's, there's a delay on it. But in a way, that's a blessing in disguise too. I do feel like you're waiting for some kind of money that is coming. Um, I don't know if it's from family or if it's a settlement or something like that. But when the money comes there, it's going to make you feel like a chariot. It's going to give you that little nest egg of your own that's going to make you feel like, yes, yes, I'm good, I'm okay. And it's like you've almost had like an aha moment, some of you, like, yes, this is it. It's time for me to start living now. It's time for me to put myself first. Oh, this is so awesome. Just because things have been up and down and you had a rough few months, like really rough, I want to say the last six, seven months, it's time now for you to step up for yourself and claim joy or claim peace that you want. It says you can't please everybody, so you might as well please yourself like spirit is uh, you know helping you here so make sure you're paying attention to the things that are going on around you and it says if counsel is needed get some counsel it says your intuition is really on point this month and also it's a time for you to feel like a victor brand new beginnings right here at your feet right at your door um and it's going to bring you great joy it's time for you to really have joy and i almost feel like for, for a lot of you, you're going to feel like, yes, I feel connected. I feel grounded. I feel taken care of. And what a beautiful feeling that is, especially the way things have been for the last few years for everybody. There's definitely change here for you. Um, it's like you've made a, an agreement with spirit, with somebody here on the earth plane where you manifested things. And this is big. It's world. It touches all of the areas. 
And it says, and it doesn't matter what's gone. We can't go change that. We can learn from that. So prosper, prosper, prosper is what's up for you. If you want it open to receive that abundance, and you're going to have a, a coming together of family. You're going to, I don't know what kind of announcement is going on here for some of you with family. Some are going to like it, some are not. But if the announcement makes you happy, do it anyway. It says you guys strong and you're nobody's fool. Someone's going to say, what are you being foolish? I don't think so. It says excuses are gone now. Right before you is what you wished for is here. Don't let anyone take that from you. Really, don't let anyone steal your thunder. Whatever it is that you're wanting here, you've earned it, you deserve it, and it's meant to be for you. Wow. And the fear of somebody leaving, that's like you've had, like I said, you've had some very interesting losses this month, and I hate putting it that way, but it's, it just shows that things are going to get much better for you. And I feel like you're going to be making plans to be moving. Um, I don't know when you move, but it's like plans are in the works to possibly be moving. And it's good. It's, ha it's a happy thing for you. And with that said, happy Halloween, my favorite Leos. We'll take good care of you, I hope. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and happy Halloween. See you next month.